Joel Klein presents Biz Tank. In the last episode, entrepreneurs Isaac and Ellie visit the moguls with their brainchild Leah. Urgent care in your own home. But in an industry fraught with legalities and at risk of lawsuits, will the moguls trust Leah's health and the strength of their market share? There's a lot of people doing that. It's the number one question in this world of competition. Why you? But Leah seems to be one step ahead. Episode one, part two, when competition strikes. out the doctors that are coming to provide the urgent care for your patients. Okay, so all of our doctors already work, or medical providers, the doctors, PAs, MPs, and nurses. All of them work and have experience in, in emergency medicine. We look for just for that. If there is a new grad that's, you know, looking to get a job in urgent care, which, again, a huge number of PAs and NPs, when they graduate, that's, the first, that's their dream job, urgent care. I'm willing to take them on board and teach them because I have a teaching background. I'm a board review lecturer for Kaplan. I do um, uh, lectures globally, and I have medical providers in the palm of my hands at any time I need them, so I can hire a team of uh, medical providers at any time. And that's nationally. I can do that in all 50 states. About 1,000 patients, how many do you have repeated customers? <laughs> Almost 80%. 80%, okay. Yeah. Another thing, I saw many. I saw probably 20 companies in that space the last year. There is I, only... I know the guys from doctor.com, they all, and there's an Israeli company. Taito, Care. The world's also supposed to start in Israel. Yeah, I want to know why you. This is definitely the future. Right, this, this is, is why you. Do you sound passionate about it? It's, it's, a, good, yeah. it's a good signal. So, why else? Sounds so very that. passionate. Sounds like he yeah. knows what he's talking about. Yeah, but yeah. Smart guy. Thank you. But there's a lot of people doing that. Yes. Yes. I'll tell you. Oh, thank you. Uh, there's right now, there are really three companies that are doing it, not 20. The other ones that are doing it are just telehealth. They're not doing house calls. There's three big companies there's Heal. There's Dignity Health, or Dispatch Health, I'm sorry, and there's us. All right, Heal does this in California. Who? That's, I talked to the CEO. That's, no, they're not really doing this. Doc, doc? They're not doing this. Zoc, doc, 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 Choosing a doctor. You call who? House call, I know who they are, but they're, they're not doing what we're doing. They're trying to contract with different offices to get the doctor there. It's not an on-demand service. You may or may not get it. I, I know the CEO, I spoke to her and they wanted to somehow partner with us as well. I spoke to her a few times. So, tell me why you. I'll tell you. So Heal does this, they charge $199 a visit, they don't have plans. All right? D Dignity Health does this, they charge $199 a visit, they don't have plans. They can yeah. create plans tomorrow. It's not easy. It's not easy. But does the $199, is it all encompassing, meaning all the upcharge, no, no upcharges? No. They'll, pay, they'll build it for other things. And so they're double the price, and essentially, so how, do you, how are you able to, to afford to be, especially because you're smaller, how are you able to be so cheap? What's the... Because of all the services we offer. Uh, We're offering IVs, Heal doesn't do IVs. Um, uh, uh, what do you call it? The other company, they don't do IVs. They don't do x-rays. If you need to go to the hospital, they'll say, I'm sorry, you have a broken bone, we're gonna splint it for you, go to the hospital. So because you're upcharging, that's why you're able to charge a lower base rate. Exactly. So I can do more, and, I, and do I am doing more. How long do you need to wait for the x-rays to come to your house? At BNC Industries, we don't just sell packaging supplies, we sell packaging solutions. Whether you're running a large warehouse, or a successful Amazon seller, a mid-sized retail store, or a small home business, BNC has the perfect packaging solutions for your business's success. With well over a million square feet of local warehousing, and over two million boxes always in stock, most orders are delivered same or next day. With over 20 years of experience in the packaging and office supplies industry, our sales representatives are trained to provide expert packaging and automation advice, tailor-made to solve every one of your packaging needs. Our diverse line of products, extensive inventory stock, competitive pricing, and trained packaging specialists have helped us become the largest packaging supplier in the tri-state area. 
Find what you're looking for at www.bcpkg.com. BNC Industries, the Northeast's largest packing supplier, and for good reason. How long do you need to wait for the x-rays to come to your house? It depends. On, so there are five different companies in everywhere, and they're dying for work. I don't know if anybody knows an x-ray guy. They're looking for work like uh, food. All right, So they'll go within the hour, within two hours. It's, it's, it happens fast. And this guy, if he has an ankle sprain, he's not going to go to the urgent care and wait there like this for five hours. He's going he's gonna to wait at home. He'd rather be at home and get his next Who's support. liable for any malpractice? That we happens. have malpractice insurance. That you comes. have malpractice insurance. It's not the actual uh, doctor who's coming to the house who's no. liable. So MDs have their own malpractice insurance. Okay. NPs have their own malpractice insurance. PAs are covered by our malpractice insurance. We have our own umbrella policy that covers all of our providers. And are you going out searching for new doctors or are the doctors or PAs coming over to you and trying to With sign our marketing, up? They're, they're usually they coming come to, to us. us. They're you coming know, to you Most already. of them are coming to us. Um, and again, I do, like I said, board review lectures. I have 55 people sitting in a room graduating. And at the end of my lecture, I always say, listen, I'm the CEO of a company. Anybody looking for a job, reach out to me. How many states is the service available in? Right now, it's in New York. We've been operating for over a year. Um, and how much revenue have you done? We've made, uh, in, so we're operating over a year. Yeah. We only started seeing patients for six months, and we've made over $130,000 in revenue. We've seen over 1,000 patients, all right? How do we do that? We load the cost so that we can target everyone to use our services. We charge $99 for a visit, all right? And that's a simple home visit. And then the plans. If someone has a plan, they pay monthly, and we have monthly revenue that just can, keeps coming in from these patients. Leah has gained a foothold in the saturated healthcare market with their three-level approach. One, lowering the base cost to target a large market. Two, offering a wide range of additional services at additional cost. And three, the most compelling of all, the creation of a steady revenue stream. So we have currently 25 people on our plans. There's uh, five on our silver plan. We have about 10 on our gold plan. And the, and the rest are on our VIP plan. We also have IV plans, which I won't even get into right now. Um, and then we have a meds plan. So what's your capacity right now in order of how many house calls can you do in a day? How many house calls can you do over the course of 24 hours? How okay, many doctors so, or PAs are signed up? So uh, what we have right now, we have 40 per diem providers. 40? So, yeah, so we're not burning money on someone just sitting there doing nothing. And what's the breakdown from what their take for, from the 99 okay. versus yours? PAs get anywhere between 65 to $80. MDs get 120 to 150. Nurses get 60 to 80. Now, why would they do it? Because A, if they see 10 people a day, they're getting higher rates, right? They're getting higher rates from a hospital. I worked in a hospital, I got $38 an hour. In Brookdale, I saw 120 patients a day. $38 times 12 hours, I made pennies, all right, for seeing 120 patients. If my provider saw 120 patients in a month, he would make more money than me in a month working at Brookdale. Right? By at eighty dollars an hour, at eighty dollars a patient. With the payment structure for the medical providers, Leah makes a marginal profit on a visit by a medical provider. Which is why plans and upsell plays a critical role. However, we up bill. So if we charge you ninety-nine dollars, that's for a physical exam. Someone spending time with you, educating you on your medical condition. However, if I do a strep test, it's forty dollars. Any in-house test is forty dollars. Any in-house injection is fifty dollars. And, and in-house IVs are two ninety nine. So, and is that pre-ordered when? No, when, when we I'm get there, we offer. Get there. So we say this is what you need, and this is the cost for it. And a hundred percent of the time, they pay for it. Nothing beats it. Anybody that wants to have a normal home, home How office. Do you make it with three, four visits. Because there's IVs. The yeah, IV so can run you four hundred dollars. He's getting. He's getting so, he, so he's getting a percentage. No, of no he's making two thousand dollars for us. He's saying he's not getting paid two thousand dollars. He's making the company two thousand. I got it. Yeah. The, now you mentioned nurses. So I'm assuming you're using RNs or BSNs. RNs. Now they're, they're not RNs. They're not prescribing medication. No, they can't. RNs don't. So what are they? So they're doing they? IVs. I got it. So let's say so one of our businesses is just IVs. People are not calling because they're sick. I have a hangover. I need an IV. Can you guys come in? I'm a PA. I can give a prescription. I call the nurse. I say, hey, listen. I'll go to person B. He needs an IV. She can do it legally. Got it, Isaac. Um, so I was actually um, at a, at an urgent care. Um, uh, two months ago, pink eye, and they were checking me out for um, strep, okay? And ended up being a sinus infection. Mm -hmm. So like you said, they're trying to, this was in Lakewood, in, out, right. right? So, your business is making money, but some of it is getting lost along the way. When my business loses money, I don't like it. That's why I love Refund Master. They carefully review my accounts, 
and ensure that all money is deposited right back to where it belongs. And the best part? I don't pay them anything until I actually get the money back. Hey, what are you waiting for? Contact Refund Master. www.refundmaster.com 1-877-560-9559. Refund Master. Um, so I was actually um, at, a, at an urgent care um, two months ago, pink eye, and they were checking me out for um, strep, okay? And ended up being a sinus infection. Mm -hmm. So like you said, they're trying to, this was in Lakewood, in, out, right? right? Monetizing the, the thing within 10 minutes, I yes. was out, okay? So here's my question. It took me five minutes to drive there, okay? Five minutes to drive back. I was there for 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes tops. Right, I paid my copay of mm -hmm. well, I don't know, it was five, ten dollars. It was a joke, right? At, versus with you guys, and don't forget, they did their strep test, they did their other tests, the science for, for all the science, all the other crap that I had, yeah. right? So here's my question: You guys are going to charge me 150 bucks versus my copay with my insurance. Now, granted, I have insurance, but my my copay with my insurance. The truth is, that I think even in general, what is an urgent care charge for? A right? Sixty-five to hundred dollars. Is that it went up? Yeah. It went up. I don't know what kind of urgent insurance you have, urgent care but urgent cares are very high. Primary care is thirty dollars. Urgent care, where I work, seventy-five dollars just to walk in with Blue Cross Blue Shield. So you're saying that you're you're basically you're uh, you're essentially not that much more expensive. Exactly, than and I'm walk. coming to your house. You're not paying for a taxi. You're not paying for a bus. One big question though is your um, your subscriptions. I think that's yeah. a big piece of it. Yes, yes. a lot they, bigger, a lot they, more valuable yes, exactly. than um, than the one-time hundred dollars. Right. You know whatever you could up So what I'm doing with the plans is that What do you what do you have now? Subscriptions. So I have, what do you what do you what's your revenue a month on subscriptions? I'll tell you, I have to look at it. It's uh, we make 25 in a people on the plans. Yeah, so right? do the math, exactly. Yeah. So we have $615 for the VIP plan a month at uh, 7 patients, right? Six. You have you have uh, 10 people One on second. the gold plan. 615 a month? Yeah, for the VIP plan. Times 7? Yeah. Okay. 10 at 4, 4, 449. We have 5 at uh, 229 and then we have about five at 125 and what's the difference right. between the plans so I'll tell you the Mets plan so that's the Mets plan is genius the Mets plan is the best why this targets everyone without insurance especially the people that have chronic diseases in New York 11 right? million by the way. yeah there's 11 million people in New York I don't need to and the other question I was gonna answer you is I don't need to target you I'm Does targeting deal with hospitals and catastrophes? I need 11 million people but again I would target you anyways because of your copay and well, your like 80% Does of our customers hospital, have insurance hospital, um, um, what about so hospital, I'm gonna get to that I'm um, surgery yeah. all that kind of stuff I know no no you wouldn't get me because I'm if I'm paying five ten dollars exactly but I'm not targeting you that's what I'm trying to say. Okay. I, I, that, I'm not going okay. to talk about it. And when you say urgent care, I mean, just the term urgent care really means much more than what you guys are using it for. I view urgent care like my son's a frequent flyer in the hospital because he's breaking every bone in right. the butt, right? Now, you guys wouldn't touch that. Of course we would. How would you touch? We're doing x rays. We're doing x rays. We're doing x rays. So you're doing mobile x rays there? Of course. I come to you, I do everything an urgent care does in your house. On top of that, I'm even willing to do some hospital stuff. Like, for example, I won't mention the person. We took care of a person in this room's father. We gave him IV antibiotics for five days. He didn't want to go to the hospital. We connected investor. him to the IV, and we gave him IV antibiotics two times a day for five days. He healed beautifully. I said, I'm not going to the yes. hospital. I'll pay you. What is it? How much does it cost? I said, Got this it. is the cost. What, what would you be offering to employees, and how are, you, how are you covering back to my question also of if you're trying to offer your employees health benefits? Yes. So we need to cover the piece of... Um, hospital surgery, right, any right. major right. items. Anything other than major seems like you guys have it pretty down right. bad. So there are two ways to do it. Way number one, we already approached a few companies, Alex Partners, Royal Health and Healthcare, um, Affleck wants to join us. We have two different ways to do it. Way number one, we charge them $99 a month per employee, and we guarantee one visit and one televisit. So two things we do. Per we, month? Per month. The visits cost us 75 bucks, right? And top of that, we're going to up bill because when we get sure. there, right? Or a televisit. Televisit costs us $25. Any person is willing to do a televisit. What's the value to that? All of those employees that are working there, why do they take off? Why? To get a medication refill. To go to their doctor to check their blood pressure and get a refill on their high blood pressure. But how does it solve the problem that this employee now says, I need Let me get benefits? To it. Let me get to it. So a lot, of the, a lot of the companies are willing to pay that $99 just to cover the primary and urgent care. Why? Because I'm offering that. And then they'll have the other insurance that tags on. The second way to do it is my meeting with United Refuel. I spoke with the CEO, Moshi Katz. I don't know if you guys know him. All right, I spoke with him last week. They have a health share plan. All right, it covers everything. 
Few things in life are more important than family, than community, and the memories created with our loved ones. Invest in your family's health by joining United Refua HealthShare, an affordable way to manage your health care. As the first and only Jewish health sharing organization, we prioritize your family's values, care for your family's health, share medical expenses within our community, and assist with management of your health care expenses. Celebrate life's special moments with us. The second way to do it is my meeting with United Refu. I spoke with the CEO, Moshi Katz. I don't know if you guys know him. All right, I spoke with him last week. They have a health share plan. All right, it covers everything. However, they have a $4,000 deductible. I came to him and I said, listen, let's marry. Let's get married. How? Let people buy, so let's sell our plans together. The goal plan is $449 a month. Let the client pay $449 a month towards Leah. Leah will cover primary and urgent care, which is your biggest expense and they won't have a deductible. Genius, no? 449 times 12 is about $5,000, and now you go to the hospital, covered fully. Why? Because you met your deductible, because you paid it to Leah. He was, at, and that's at the 449? The 449. If they want the 229, they'll have a $1,000 deductible. It's still, better than, it's, it's still better than having a $4,000 deductible and worrying about going and to United the- And United Refua covers hospitals, they cover everything. 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 Like, yeah, let me, everything that any insurance company would cover. Yeah, they're not an insurance company. They're a health share, but they cover everything. You go on their website. Let me some put something in perspective. Grand, 20 grand, 100 co grand. They cover everything. Yeah, it's a co op share. Co exactly. They cover everything. He loved it. I'm waiting for cool. us to re meet again to move it to the next level. Leah has a lot going for it, but is it nearly enough? Isaac, I think that you guys have built something really great uh, and you seem really passionate about it. Haven't Unfortunately, seen it again, it's it's not <laughs> it's not in it. my space. Right. I'm I'm in hardware, but I think some of the software guys over here might be interested. But show the keep continuing what you guys are doing. Thank and you. I think you guys have a really good future ahead Thank of you, you. and continue fun. with the success. Appreciate it. Dove is out, but the four others are still in the running. Can I ask one quick question? Your valuation. How'd you, how'd you arrive at the valuation? Leah's current valuation is $25 million. By continuously expanding, Leah projects to see 500,000 annual visits by the end of 2025, which is a projected revenue of $87.5 million per year and a gross profit of about 40%, making our projected profit of $35 million. And the valuation is, is crazy for me. I mean, to think that, yeah. I mean, to think that, like, I couldn't hire a team and, you know, build this out myself. Andrew finds the valuation too high for something he could potentially duplicate himself. And so he, too, backs off. Plus, it doesn't cost us almost anything to get a, a patient. Just and Google the home money. urgent care. All the money we make is literally profit. Yeah. No, no it seems to me like 75 to It goes to the provider, but whatever's on top is profit. With two moguls out, Isaac and Ellie present some more angles where Leah is breaking ground. The next thing that I'm trying to tackle is specialties, all right? So I want to get a specialist to come to your house, which again will change the game. So if I get a cardiologist to come to your house, or, or a dermatologist, that's just going to change the game. No one does that in the world, not just in New York, in the world. Leah's next steps are to focus on specialties and pets, a market which is expected to reach over $200 billion by 2025, with home urgent care by skilled veterinarians. But things don't look so good as another mogul backs out as well. Um, I like the concept. Technology is not really my thing. But he does turn into one very interested customer. As the, um, as the healthcare, together with United Healthcare, that is something that um, would interest me very much. Beautiful. That would be more as a customer. Leah's presentation time is running out. There are only two moguls left. The, the providers are not incentivized at this point to upcharge, to upsell. Exactly. Legally, you can't do that. So that's a problem. No. No, because if, if the primary source of your revenue compared with your competitors is... They have a point You're not understanding it. You're not understanding it. What I'm trying to tell you is that as a provider, I need to do this in order to make you better. Why should I get incentivized for it? You need a strep test in order to diagnose I understand. I understand. Right. But I'm saying there's certain things that, that, that you want to obviously... You're, you're calling it upsell, upcharge, right? Of course, right? Okay, But fine. it's called an upcharge because it's automatic. It's going to happen whether the provider wants it or not. 
That's what I'm trying to say. Isaac and Ellie have given this their every last breath, and moguls Moshe and Mark just might have caught the Leah fever. It sounds very interesting. I'd like to, to dive deeper. I'd like the evaluation a little. We'll, we'll like to talk after. Okay. Thank you. The moguls didn't offer us anything in actual cash, but they did offer to meet with us at a later date so that we can um, build uh, some connections and see how we can take this to the next level. Next up, sitting pretty. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's laughter. Pain. I chased answers to pain. And a touch of magic. Can SitFit find a chair in the market? How many units have you sold so far? None. Pull up a chair. And join us for this one, Biz Tank. Selling dreams, funding futures. Catch us live. <laughs>